again on our backs. So just laying down on your mat when you're ready. And then just soften the head, maybe slight tuck of that chin, rolling the head side by side. One hand can be on the heart and one hand on the navel or the palms can be down by your side. So yogi's choice. Closing the eyes and just beginning to check in with the mind, the body, maybe walking those shoulder blades towards each other so you have a nice open area. The diaphragm is lifted. And just start to draw on the breath, starting yourself out with an intention to something that will keep you present as you move through our practice today. It could be a word, a phrase, a color. It could be as simple as thank you, thanking yourself for practicing yoga. Good, a couple more breaths here. So just deepening that breath, inhaling through the nose, softening the jaw, filling the lungs, and feeling that breath travel down the body towards the toes as you exhale and push all the air out. So starting to bring more awareness to the breath, texturizing the exhale. Good, three more deep breaths just like that. Just take your time with your breath, noticing how your body's softening down, softening in between the brows, bringing more awareness to how your body's feeling without judgment. And starting to unravel on that exhale, so letting go of anything that's no longer serving you. Good, one more deep breath. And exhale, let it all out. <sighs> Empty the air. Good. Opening the eyes and then just walking those heels towards each other about hips width distance. So digging the heels into the mat and flexing the toes so they're pointing up towards the ceiling or sky. Engage that tummy. So we're going to hug that belly button to the back body and then inhale the palms behind us as we point the toes in the opposite direction. Exhale, dig in the heels, flex the feet, palms float down by your sides. Good, inhale, reaching back. And exhale, flex the feet, palms down. Good, two more just like that. And exhale. Good, one more. And exhale, release. Good, walking those feet up. So the knees are pointing up towards the ceiling this time and then reaching with the fingertips towards those heels, walk the shoulders in. Those fingertips might touch the back of the heels. If they don't, that's okay. Palms can float down towards the mat and then lift through the arches of the feet, wiggle any tension out of the toes. You're going to engage the core here. Inhale, hips will float up. So you're in bridge pose, even weight on the feet here. Good, floating that weight towards the shoulders versus the neck or the head. Exhale, slowly release the glutes down. Good, a few more going with your breath. Inhale. So pairing the breath with the movement. Exhale, float the hips down. Good, a couple more. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. And exhale, release. Nice work. Hug those knees into the chest this time, Apanasana. So natural breathing here, really important. And hugging below the patella versus directly on top of the kneecap. Walking the elbows in towards the rib cage, slight tuck with the chin, maybe rolling side by side before you settle into stillness. Great release of the hip flexors. This also lifts the diaphragm up for that postural support. A nice alignment of the spine, pressing that the lower hips down, so sacrum down, flat on the mat as much as you can. Good. Exhale, release, palm floats to the back of the knees here, and then we'll roll all the way up, coming into boat pose if you can. So those knees can be bent, the palms can be behind the knees, or to the sides. Legs can also be straight, 
the yogi's choice here. We'll hold here for a couple breaths. You're also welcome to do pulses as you draw the knee in and exhale, push out. So we'll do five, four, three, two, and one. Good, float all the way up to a seated position. Walking out those sits bones here, so you're rooting and grounding down into your feet. Good, flexing the feet, inhale, palms float up. And exhale, micro bend the knees, float forward, forward fold. You can allow that head to hang. So you're getting a nice natural stretch here without force. Stretching the hamstrings. And also flatten out those knees a little bit. That feels better. Hugging that tummy in, doming the back. The gravitational support here. Squeezing the feet, maybe giving yourself a nice massage of the legs. Two breaths here. Good. Inhale, float all the way up to a seated position. And exhale, palms down. Good, crossing the legs here, or just moving those legs to the side, coming to all fours, so any way you get there. Good, coming to tabletop, so eyes to the elbows point out. Shift that weight slightly forward here, so you have a nice bend in the wrists. Good, pointing the index finger forward, middle finger forward. And then inhale, we're going to look up, scoop the back, cow pose, hips up, eye gaze up. Softening the forehead, and then exhale, cat pose down. So working on the back today, inhale, and exhale. Good, thinking about how you can make your breathing easier, slow and steady to begin. Good, two more just like that. So Jala Harabanda and cat. Chin lock. Just creating space in the vertebrae, lengthening that spine. And holding in cat when you're ready to dome that upper back, nice flexion of the spine. Pushing those hips forward towards the head. And just experiencing this pose. Holding here. Getting the full benefit of the pose. Good. Inhale back up to tabletop yogis. Knees can stay here as you float back the hips into Velasana or child's pose. Or you can walk those knees nice and wide if those hips and hamstrings are a little bit tighter. You can also sit back on a blanket or a block if that feels better and that relieves pressure in the knees. Head floats down. Just making sure everything's in one line. So maybe walking that head side by side, or resting the head even on your stacked palms feels nice sometimes. Good, stay with the breath. Deep inhale, yogis from the crown of the head, sitting back deeper as you exhale. Three more breaths here. One more. Taking your time. Good. Walk the palms to that right hand side, yogis. You're stacking that left palm on top of the right or keeping the palms side by side. Head floats down. Stretching the intercostal muscles, the latissimus. Breathing into the rhomboids, so the shoulder blades. Two breaths on this side. Allowing the face to melt down, loosening the jaw. Maybe exhaling out the mouth, that ujjayi breath, stoking that internal fire. So detoxifying. And then inhale, walk the palms back to center and off to that left-hand side. So noticing a difference between the left and right side. Sometimes we're a little bit tighter on one side versus the other. So we're just bringing that awareness in so that it can make those shifts and rebalance our body. 
stacking the palms of your feet on the other side. Good. Couple more breaths. Just being patient with yourself in these longer holds, which can be challenging sometimes. Just noticing what's coming up. And walk the palms back to center. And then inhale, pull up to all fours, tabletop position. Spread those fingers nice and wide here, yogis. Curl the toes and press it back, downward facing dog. Begin to pedal up those heels. Nod yes to yourself. Just move that neck and head. Good. Hug that tummy in. So belly button to back body. Really push into that index finger and thumb. Relieve any weight off those wrists. And exhale, press those heels down, hold here for two breaths. Good, deep in that stretch by keeping the shoulders high. <sighs> One more. <sighs> Good, look in between the palms, hop, walk or float to the top of the mat. Inhale to partway lift, flat back, long neck. Exhale to soften and fold. Root through the feet, wiggle out the toes, and rise, palms float up, look up towards the palms, and exhale, palms float down the midline. Open back up into mountain pose when you're ready. So roll those shoulders back and down the spine here. Toe heel the feet apart about hips width distance. Good, so reach down with those fingertips so the fingers are nice and engaged. Rock those hips forward so you have a nice lift here in the abdomen, so you're opening up that chest. Good, beautiful Tadasana, mountain pose. Close the eyes here and check back in with yourself. So notice the weight on the balls of your feet. Lift through the kneecaps, thighs turn on. Pelvis is tucked, which will turn on the glutes. Hugging the tummy in. So you're just doing a body scan here. Noticing how the palms are feeling, the energy coming out of the fingertips. Nice deep breaths, just clearing your entire system. Coming back to that mantra or intention you set for yourself. Good, we'll take one deep breath here, so fill the lungs. Exhale it out. Nice clearing. Inhale, scoop the palms up. And interlace the fingers and then push those palms away from you. Or you can do that traditional mudra as you cross the thumbs and index fingers will just come out. So yogi's choice here. And then just begin to bend to the right and to the left. So little baby bends. Engage that core, keeping the feet where they are. You can toe heel them back together. Completely up to you. you always have choice in your practice. We each need something different every single day we show up. Good, inhale back to center yogis, and then exhale, release to that right side. Ardha Chandrasana, so this keeps the shoulders back, chin slightly tucked. Good, and inhale to rise back up. Exhale, release to that left-hand side. Reach here. Good. Tuck that pelvis, protect the lower back, and use that core to guide you, use your breath. Neck is engaged. Good, and inhale back up. Release that grip, roll those shoulders. Nice work. And inhale, sweep the palms up when you're ready. Toe heel the feet apart if you're not there already. And Yogi's choice for Back with bend, so you can release that index finger across the thumbs, interlace the fingers, or palms can come onto the sacrum. Just be mindful of not dropping that head back, so protect that neck. Inhale, look up, and exhale, release back. So good to release back pressure, pain, really energizing the sun postures. And inhale back up, swan dive forward, nice work. Bend the knees, inhale, partway lift, flat back, long neck. Exhale to soften, and then hang onto those elbows and ragdoll. So forward fold, just massaging our organs here. 
Good. Those knees can stay micro bent, so that tailbone wants to come straight up towards the ceiling. And then just rock side by side or hold in stillness here. Clearing out the mind. Recentering our body. Good. Two more breaths, yogis. And slowly release, exhale, inhale, partly lift. Exhale to soften, and you'll step that left foot back here so you're in high lunge. You're going to inhale to look up, and then exhale, draw that chin down so that forehead comes towards that right knee in high lunge. Good. Inhale to look up, step that right foot back, and then we'll come down into plank and all the way up into Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, look forward. Hop or float to the top of the mat. Heartway lift. Exhale, soften. Inhale, sweep the palms up. Good. Palms press together. A little backward bend, so baby backward bend. Good. Exhale, flow forward, swan dive. Toe heel, the feet apart, and come into a squat position. So Malasana pose. Malasana is a little challenging. You can come back here and then just hold those knees. That feels a little bit better on the knees. Or you can also come into Apanasana on the back. Deep breath here. Two clearing breaths. Inhale and exhale. Good. So heel the feet back together. Heartway lift. Exhale, soften. Step that right foot back this time so you're in high lunge. You can even tempt the fingers for a little bit more lift. So flat back here. Look up on the inhale. Exhale, forehead to left knee. Good. Feel that stretch. Nice so out of stretch. Inhale, back up. Good. Press back, left foot to right foot. Good. Slowly lower. So part way and then push back up into plank. Exhale, back downward facing dog. Good, two breaths here. One more. Good, walk those palms back towards the feet and back into malasana or squat position. You can hold and squat with that tailbone down. So you're just opening up those hips, which relieves any back pain as well. So really great for the back. Or you can come into crow or just do a little lean. So almost like a baby crow. So the beginning stages of crow. Two clearing breaths. Crown the head down towards the tailbone. Good. Slowly release the palms, toe heel the feet together. Inhale the part way lift. Exhale the soften, sweep the palms up. Good. Sit down chair, Ukatasana pose. So palms stay up. This will engage the core here. Good. Inhale deeply. Exhale, release those palms back. Good. Pulses here, pinkies up or hold in stillness for five. Weight shifts back towards the heels. Four, three, two, and one. Good, rise all the way up. Exhale, release, palms down. Inhale, palms up. And right arm is gonna come underneath that left arm here. So we're setting up for eagle pose. Sit down chair when you're ready, and then right leg will float over that left leg. Those toes will come down towards the heel. Good. Or you can hold in chair pose with those legs and just hold those arms here. So eagle pose. Really great compression. Lift those elbows up. 
Exhale them down. Up. Exhale. One more. And exhale. Good. Slowly unravel those legs. Draw that right knee into chest. Good. Supercharge that standing leg. So practicing on balance. So good for our brains. Exhale. Release that right leg out. Inhale. Draw it in 90 degrees. Flex the foot for stability. Ball out. That's okay. And inhale. Exhale. Good. Hold here. Float that right foot all the way back. So left knee stacked over left ankle. Bump the hips to the left and exhale, humbly bow down. So those right toes are pointing towards the right, protecting that lower back and just opening the upper back with those equal arms. Humble warrior. Good, slowly unravel and then just walk those palms to the midline, so toe heel the feet apart, setting up for wide leg forward fold, and exhale, you're going to release down. Those knees can always be micro bent, so you're floating the weight this time towards the toes versus the heels. Palms can be walked in front of you if you prefer as well. Releasing down, wide leg forward fold. Just holding here for a few more breaths. Good, inhale to part way lift when you're ready. And then options here to angle those feet coming into skater pose. So nice wide arms floating over the right knee and the left knee, or you can come in to those judo squats if you wish. So that half squat here. And we'll just do a few. So five, four, Three, two, and one. Nice work. Inhale, partway lift, that wide leg forward fold. Release those arms and rise all the way up. So thumbs up towards the ceiling. Good. Inhale, goddess arms, toe heel the feet together. Just slightly pointing the toes and angling them in the opposite directions. Good, nice wide stance here. Inhale, reach up and exhale, sit down in horse. So tailbone straight down, practicing the arms. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sit down. Good, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good, one more. And exhale, release. Beautiful, rise up. In warrior two to that right hand side. We'll reach forward, flip that palm, then lean back. Reverse, peaceful warrior. Inhale, back up to warrior two, lean forward, extended side angle. Good, press that forearm into that knee, open up, be mindful of the neck. So look up to the side or down by the foot. And inhale to rise. Warrior two, cartwheel the arms. Release that right leg back. Good, exhaling it down by the left. Inhale, floating into plank. Good, release those knees down here. And then elbows come straight back. Hug the tummy in. The little pulses are holding stillness for five, four, three, two, and back up on one, curl the toes, press it back. Inhale, walk those feet forward, partway lift. Exhale, soften and fold, sweep the palms up, root to rise. Look up towards those palms, press them down the midline. Good. Inhale deeply, sit down chair, Utkatasana pose. Exhale, palms back, pulse it out, walk those shoulder blades towards each other, nice long neck. We're holding stillness with those lightning arms for five, 
four, three, two, and inhale, arms on one, rise. Left arm this time underneath the right arm. Sit down and then left leg over or just hold here. Good. Even weight on that foot. So good for our immune system. And then lift those elbows for a few times. Inhale up, exhale down. Nice movement of the shoulders. One more. Good. Slowly unravel those legs, keep those equal arms. And left knee in, hold here, practicing that balance, or exhale that foot out. Good. Inhale, exhale. Take your time. Find a focus. Notice where you're looking. Draw the knee in and step that foot back. Angle that foot so left toes are pointing towards the left. Bump the hips, really important, protect the back. And then humbly bow down. Right knee is stacked over that right ankle. Deep breaths. Complete surrender here. So exhaling and relaxing a little bit more. And unravel those arms, walk those palms back to the center of the body. Toe heel the feet apart a little bit more for wide leg forward fold. Float that weight towards the toes as much as you can and exhale down. Good. Allowing that blood to rush towards the head, promoting clarity in the mind. Nice deep stretch. Good. And inhale to part way lift. Release those arms, airplane arms, and rise all the way up. Thumbs up towards the ceiling. Toe heel the feet together here. We're coming back into that goddess pose. Inhale, reach up, exhale, squat down, cactus the arms. Good, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more, and exhale. Good, rise up, warrior two to that left hand side this time, reach forward, flip the palm, and release back, hugging that shoulder in. Reach with the fingers, not dumping into the joints. Keep that knee stacked. Rise back up, extended side. Lean forward. Good. Deep breath. And inhale, warrior two. Part with the arms, release that left leg back. And back down, hold and downward dog. So two breaths. One more. Good. Float forward, plank, and come all the way down onto your tummies. Nice work. So left through to the mat, looking right. Melt into your mat. Give yourself more permission to release. Good, and inhale to look forward, yogis. And then just press those forearms up. Just begin to windshield wiper those feet to the right and to the left. So really gentle here, not forcing anything. And when you're ready, 
feet come back to center and then reach for inner grip on the insides of the feet. If you can't reach them, that's okay. You can use a belt or maybe a strap if you have one. If you don't, then you can do those little pulses up or just hold here and windshield wiper. So deep inhale and exhale, kick back into those palms. Looking up to a floor bow. Such a deep heart, but heart opener. And exhale, release. Nice work. Right ear to the mat, looking left yogi. So melt into your mat. Enjoy this moment of silence. Finding that peace from within. Knowing you're exactly where you need to be in this moment. And inhale to look forward. Nice work. From here, you'll roll the palms underneath your body. So setting up for locust pose. So the mouth can be down. And then the palms are flat underneath your body. Arms are extended here. They don't go all the way. That's okay. But just trying to reach those pinkies towards each other as much as you can. On the inhale, you're going to lift up that right leg. Press into the palms, floating the weight towards the shoulders. And exhale down. This is really great for the arms. So having that compression and then surging that flow, fresh blood flow throughout the body is so good for our immune system. Inhale, lift up that left leg when you're ready. And exhale it down. Good. Walking the palms towards each other a little bit more. Press into the palms. Inhale, you're going to lift both legs up. And slowly release. Good work, yogis. Left ear to the mat, looking right, unraveling, palms down by your side, toes touch. Good. And then inhale to look forward. You're going to walk those fingertips directly underneath the shoulders and then walk the elbows in towards the sides. So setting up for cobra pose. Separating the feet towards the corners of the mat. So pointing the toes there. And then press into the palms. You're going to rise up. So baby cobra, you can come here. You can also lengthen all the way up if you prefer. Another option is to lift those palms up, just working on that back string. Good, two more breaths. And release. Good, right ear to the mat, looking left. Palms down by your side, slow the heart rate down. Good. And inhale to look forward, coming on to those forearms. So counter pose for locust, the sphinx pose. So walk those hips up a little bit more towards the elbows, press into those forearms, looking up here, engage that core to protect the lower back, and then exhale the head down. Just allow it to hang, maybe rocking side by side. And supported with gravity, going into your mind's eye a little bit more as you breathe. Pranayama breathing. 
Good, and inhale to look up. And exhale. We're going to come into puppy pose. So on the knees, nice heart over. Everyone will be leading in child's pose if you prefer to go there. Neck down, chest down. Good, and then reaching forward. So tilting up, pelvis up, tailbone up. Toes can be pointed or curled. Breathing into the heart space. Good. And then inhale, flow back into the loss in the child's pose, your feet. Loosening that jaw, two more breaths. Good, and inhale, flow all the way back up to the knees. That's too much on the knees, you can put something underneath them. Or you can also come to your back. So inhaling deeply, we're going to press the palms against the sacrum, walk the elbows in so the chest is nice and lifted and wide. And inhale to look up and hold here or begin to lean back. So a little backward bend in the hero pose. And inhaling to rise when you're ready. You might feel a little dizziness and exhale, release down. Nice work. From here, we're going to put all four fingers over each thumb and then just nuzzle those fists in the center of that navel. So this is a great massage for the organs, really good for digestion. We're going to do half tortoise here. So exhale, we're going to lift and lower the head towards the knees. And just leave those fists where they are, nuzzled into the core. Deep breaths here. Draw the harabanda so that chin lock, that chin floats down towards the chest. And slowly unravel, rise up. Good. Inhale deeply. Exhaling it down. Good, slowly release here. And from here, we'll come in to cow face pose. So we'll just stack this right knee on top of that left knee. If you can't do that, you can hold here, which is a great stretch for the side body. Otherwise, we'll go here. We'll just stack and then press those palms on top of the feet. So they don't need to be directly stacked for it to be beneficial. Everyone's bodies are different, so just honor where you are today. Inhale. And exhale, palms down. One more. Exhale, release. Good. Walking those palms in front of you, and then just surrendering down. You need to deepen that stretch. This is enough of a stretch for you. Please feel welcome to hold this space. A lot of yin postures today, just taking our time in our practice, instead of rushing through things, when things tend to get busy, we're just honoring exactly where you are, these precious moments, just taking the time for yourself. Two more breaths. And inhale, walk those palms up. And inhale to lift. Exhale, release, palms down by your side. Nice clearing. 
and unravel here, other side. So rooting down in those sits bones. And then practicing that same position you did on the other side, maintain balance of the body. So reharmonizing here, honoring these quieter moments, rooting down, strong tummies, inhale, reach up. One clearing breath, exhale it out. One more, palms to the butt. Exhale, release. Good, hold here or walk the palms in front of you. Head comes down. So supported with gravity again. Just breathing into places you need it most in your body. So focusing on those points of origin and that clearing happening, this moving energy. Promoting more peace from within. So loosening effort. And inhale, walk those palms up. Good, one more clearing breath. Exhale it all out. Good, unravel here. And from here, we'll extend that right leg out and folding that left foot to the top of the right thigh. Root down here, inhale, palms come up. Twist to that right side and float and fold over that right leg. So forehead down towards the knee. The knees can always be micro bent. You want to be healing helpful action, so not tearing any tendons. Maybe massaging the leg to get deeper into the fascia. So promoting more of that self care and self love. One more breath. Good, and slowly unravel, rise up, palms up. Exhale down. And right leg shifts over that left thigh. So hugging that knee in here, nice straight back, sitting up nice and tall. Release that right palm behind you, almost creating a little kickstand for lengthening and lifting. So I'm tensing my fingers behind me for a little bit more lift. And left arm up and over. That left arm can be lengthened or bent elbows here, finding that mudra. So enhancing that pranayama breathing. Twisting here, great back release pose. And slowly unravel your yogis, counter twist, exhale down. Nice work. Left leg out this time. And then just fold that right foot to the top of the left thigh, micro bend that knee if you need to, root down through those sit bones, sit up nice and tall as you inhale. And exhale, twist, fold over that left leg, giving yourself a nice squeeze of the feet, your ankles, legs. Feels so nice to so just stretch and bend. And inhale all the way up. Nice release. Exhale it all out. Left leg over that right thigh. Hug that left knee into chest, sit up nice and tall. Feel that lengthening happening in the spine. And left arm behind you, creating a little kickstand, right arm up and over, twist the opposite side. See so if you can look behind you a little bit more. Sitting up nice and tall. And slowly unravel your these counter twists. Good. And floating all the way down onto your backs this time. And both legs will come directly over those hips and just give yourself a curl of the ankles inward and outward, maybe a little shake. 
Nice lymphatic drainage, just clearing out your system, fresh blood. Good, bending the knees, coming into happy baby. So gripping the outsides of the feet, or you can also do peace sign fingers around the big toes. Slight tuck with the chin. Those elbows can come to the insides of the knees or the outsides. Just breathing into the hips. All about our backs today. We want more we can release so we feel lighter and fuller. Filling our cups up with positive things, things that serve us. Releasing the heaviness. Good, really press that sacrum down so you have that nice flat back. And slowly release that grip. Give yourself a big hug. So knees into chest, apanasana. <sighs> so good for our posture. Good, slowly release those feet down. You're going to lift those hips, bump the hips to the left hand side, cactus the arms, and allow the knees to float and fall to the right. That's too much on the knees and it's too deep of a twist. You can place a block or a book or something underneath to support those knees so they're not falling directly onto the ground here. You can keep that head where it is. You can look in the opposite direction, deepen that spinal twist. Bringing out our bodies to release anything that's no longer serving us that feels a little bit heavy. Bringing out the toxins. And inhale, knees float up. Nice work. Lift and bump the hips to that right side. So we do that to protect our lower back. And then just allow the knees to fall to the left. Cactus the arms. Maybe look in the opposite direction of the knees. So just keep that head where it is, wherever it feels best for you. We're finding our medicine, our antidote. Noticing our inner dialogues. We're coming back to that mantra. We're focusing on your breath. Be really present in this moment, in this asana. Your minds are so powerful to so replacing some of those thoughts. We might be swirling or saving them for later. And inhale, slowly release. Knees float up. Good. We'll come into Supta Baddha Konasana. So just allow the knees to just fall once those hips are centered in the opposite directions. One hand on the heart, one hand on the navel. Walk those shoulder blades in, nice open chest. So moving out of head and into heart. And creating that container so our hearts feel held, seen, and heard. And inhale, just closing those knees together like a book, so pressing the thighs into the palms and using a little bit of that bicep strength. Toe heel the feet apart and allow the knees to just cave in and create a little tent. So this will relieve any back pressure as well. That Supta Baddha Konasana really opens up those hips, so it's best to not do that in a lengthier um, version in those yin postures. And to just counter it with this pose, with the tented knees, really important. A lot of people in class 
and hold that position, that Supta Baddha Konasana for an extended amount of time. And it just puts a lot of pressure on our hips and joints. I apologize, you might hear my critters running around. I definitely need to trim my dog's nails, so <laughs> my apologies. And then open up, yogis, good. And inhale the legs up over the hips one more time. Just so good, so good for us. That produces oxytocin, dopamine, serotonin, all those great free chemicals that we need. So good for us. Good, and then lower that left leg down and hug that right knee into chest. The wind removing pose. Good, press that knee into those interlaced fingers too. See how that feels. And exhale it down, opposite side. Left knee into chest. Very good. And exhale. Good, nice work. So just rub your palms really rapidly together. So we'll end on that eye bath meditation. It's one of my favorite things to do before we settle into our full meditation. Really good for sinuses. I have a little bit of a stuffy nose from allergies. So this will help just clear out any blockages in the headspace. So once you feel that heat form, you can just create those little caves over the eyes. Just allow those eyes to sink deeper into the sockets. And when you're ready, just settling into your meditation. Sometimes it's nice to just, if you have any oil, maybe put some lavender and a cool cloth over the eyes too. If you want to maintain that darkness in your meditation, that's really helpful. Maybe dim the lights. Or just put a blanket, something over the eyes. And then palms come down by your sides. You can even come into starfish. So wherever you're comfortable, you always have choice. It doesn't need to look a certain way. It just needs to serve you best for it to be healing. We'll just start to quiet the minds. A deep inhale into the shoulders. Allowing that breath to travel down, feeling that warmth down each arm, center of the right palm, center of the left palm, and each of the fingers, and then back up into that heart space, down towards the navel, clearing up hips, thighs, knees, calves, ankles, center of the right foot, center of the left all of the toes and back up each leg into your core, back into the heart, back of the throat, into the third eye, in between the brows and crown of the head. Feeling that warmth, that energy, just encompass your entire being. Clearing out anything that you need to release Feeling more relaxed, more at peace. And 
And just begin to wiggle those fingers and toes or just stay in your meditation if you prefer. You can stay there as long as you want. Rolling to one side. Taking one more deep clearing breath for yourself. Thank you all so much for practicing with me. Have a beautiful weekend. Namaste.